Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Last year I made a video about the first monochrome camera from SV Boini with an AMX533 sensor. This camera was a bit controversial due to some issues with it. Some of them have been resolved since then and I want to talk about that in this video. And guys, wait till the end where I share my latest image with 58 hours of exposure time captured using this camera. Here is the SV Boini SV605MC camera. As I mentioned earlier, it has an IMX533 sensor, which essentially makes this camera an equivalent of the following cameras listed on the screen. So what about problems? One of the issues with this camera was bending. Although bending is not personally a big problem for me, as I found ways to eliminate it during the post-processing stage, some people still consider it a deal breaker. Well, the latest update from SV Boni is about bending. I accidentally noticed it earlier in May when I was taking some deep sky images using this camera and I observed that there was either no bending at all or it was very weak. In fact, the latest update of this camera reduced the amount of bending significantly. Here are two images of the Cygnus wall in the constellation Cygnus. One was captured last year when the camera was just released and the other image I captured earlier in June this year. As you see, the difference is noticeable and uh, the image on the left, of course, that's the one that was captured last year. And um, without even zooming in, you can see that the picture on the left has lots of bending on it. Uh, by the way, those two images were not calibrated whatsoever, just 300 seconds of exposure time for each image. And uh, the only difference uh, between those two is the telescopes I was using. The image on the left was captured using Skywatcher 150 PDS telescope at 750mm focal length, while the image on the right was captured using 122mm APOS scope from SV Boini with a focal length of 683mm. If we take a look at the image captured last year using the same camera, we see much more bending on this image and, uh, of course, uh, in terms of bending issue, this camera performs much better a year after it was released. Well, thanks of course to a new <laughs> driver's update that uh, SV Boni released. Now, some people also reported that this camera has amp glow and uh, I'm not an exception. Here is a dark frame with 300 seconds of exposure time. As you can see, the top left corner shows just a little of amp glow, which in my opinion isn't that crucial. And uh, by the way, it's not just SV Boni's problem. So here is one of the Cloudy Nights forum posts about uh, IMX533 sensor. And one of the users, they posted their dark frame taken with Altair Astro camera, same IMX533 sensor. And as you can see on this example, this uh, amp glow is even more noticeable than on my SV Boni camera. But what I must admit that my dark frame, it has lots of bending on it, while uh, like this example with more amp glow, there is, you can see bending, but it's less significant. So what do we have here with SV Boni? Overall, the camera performs better than it did last year. I also noticed that SV Boni upgraded their new productions of this camera. And here you can see that Cindy from SV Boni mentioned fixing the bending issue at all. Basically, it means that whatever new SV605MC camera you get, it should not have bending. At the moment of filming this video, I don't know how true it is, but I will have a chance to work with an upgraded SV605MC camera to see if the bending issue is actually resolved or not. I should receive an upgraded camera soon. Right now is actually a perfect time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so that you can stay tuned for a new video about this camera. If you just subscribed, welcome to the channel, guys. Now let's take a closer look at my latest project I've been working on with my SV605MC camera. I spent the last few weeks taking images of the Cygnus wall through my 122mm APO refractor. Uh, the weather was challenging, so I didn't get as much exposure time as I had planned, but I've collected 17 hours of exposure time in each sulfur, hydrogen and uh, oxygen filters. And also I captured two hours of exposure time in each R, G and B filter to reveal the true colors of stars. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is basically this text, so we can take a closer look at the situation with bending. And uh, 
Over here we're looking at RGB images. As you can see, the painting issue is not that noticeable anymore on stacks. And uh, there are images captured with uh, sulfur, hydrogen and oxygen filters. Uh, the hydrogen filter looks the cleanest, as you can see like in this uh, dark structure. So yeah, hydrogen looks good. Uh, sulfur or whatever we have this bright part of the Cygnus wall the like there is no bending there in the dark structure we see some bending in sulfur filter and uh, on oxygen filter the image also overall like looks pretty good but once again the dark structure uh, for some reason I still have some bending there so as I will be processing these images further I will show you one of my processing steps where I easily get rid of bending so yeah I'll start processing these images and once I go to my bending removal stage I sh I'll show you what I'm doing basically to remove bending. Right now we're in Adobe Photoshop and what I did with my individual layers is calibrated the background stretched images combined them into a color RGB image and remove stars captured in narrowband as I will replace them with color stars later. As you can see, this image has some uh, spots with bending, like if you zoom it in, especially in dark um, cloud structure, uh, there are some horizontal lines of noise, which is bending, and I will remove it with just one click. Uh, I have a set of actions that were created for photography processing, and I think I purchased like this set a couple of years ago. Uh, so one of the actions is called horizontal bending noise reduction. So let me create a new layer and apply this action to this layer so we'll see if the image will be improved or not. And uh, as you can see, this bending disappeared. So this image with uh, uh, like this image is before calibration and this image after bending calibration. As you can see, that's a huge difference here. So yeah, basically this is how I remove bending of my images captured with uh, SV605MC camera. Uh, I'll continue my processing and uh, you'll see the final image at the end of this video. All right, guys, there was a quick video update about the SV Boni SV605MC camera. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. In the meanwhile, I'll be waiting for the upgraded version of this camera to arrive, so stay tuned for my next video about it. At the end, I have a final picture of the Cygnus wall captured using this SV605MC camera. I really hope you enjoyed this final image, and I will also leave a link to this image on Astrobin so you can take a closer look at it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video until very end. I hope to see you in the future videos and until next time, clear skies.